complements and substitutes. Two goods, say A and B, are complements. If using more of good A require the use of more good B, for example, inkjet printer and ink cartridge are complements. Two goods, say C and D, are substitute. If using more of good C replaces the use of good D, for example, Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola are substitutes. Complements and substitutes are good examples to illustrate the difference between changes in quantity demanded versus changes in demand. Here we have the demand curves for two complementary goods, A and B. Suppose the price of good A goes down on the right panel. The law of demand tells us that more of good A will be purchased by moving down the demand curve. In other words, the quantity demanded for good A will increase. Since goods A and B are complementary, more good A requires the use of more good B. But the price of good B has not changed, so more good B would be bought. Only if the demand for good B increases by shifting to the right, a price increase in good A, on the other hand, will lead to a decrease in quantity demanded for good A, and a decrease in demand for good B. On the lower panels. We have two substitute goods, C and D. Suppose the price of good C goes down on the right panel. The law of demand tells us that more of good C will be purchased by moving down the demand curve. In other words, the quantity demanded for good C will increase since goods C and D are substitutes. More good C will replace the use of good D, but the price of good D has not changed, so less good D would be bought only if the demand for good D decreases by shifting to the left. A price increase in good C, on the other hand, will lead to a decrease in quantity demanded of good C. And an increase in demand for good D. To summarize, for complements, when the quantity demanded for good A goes up, demand for good B goes up, 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 down, down. For substitutes, when the quantity demanded for good C goes up. Demand for good D goes down, up, down, down, up.